the team that was the most unlikely Super Bowl run I have seen in probably the last decade. The Cincinnati Bengals are now on the clock. Runners up of the Super Bowl this past year, round one, pick number 31. What do you think they do here? So uh, we think we're, they're going Bernard Ryman, offensive tackle out of Central Michigan University. And look, we all know the Bengals have been very active in free agency. They brought in uh, just recently Lyle Collins, offensive tackle formerly of Dallas. So a lot of Bengals fans may be wondering why we're going to this position as well. And let's be honest, offensive line has been such a huge weakness for Cincinnati so long. They have to go all in, right? I know they have Jonah Williams at left, now Collins at right. Collins has had injury issues and suspension issues. You know, Burrow's already been beat up a couple of times. You need to commit to this position even more just to make sure that you have Burrow solidified and protected so that way he can be your quarterback for the long term in Cincinnati. Uh, Ryman's just a really good prospect. He's an athletic guy, former tight end. He's 6'7", 303. He's not the most polished offense lineman I've seen, but he he's, gets on guys. He stay on guys, plays at a good energy, good motor. So I think he's a guy that's versatile. He could play left and right, potentially move to guard. So I think this is just a good depth move to just really make sure that offensive line is solidified. Yeah, Nick, and listen, nine sacks in a playoff game for Joe Burrow is awful. You really have to protect the investment. You've got the superstars on offense. You've got the Joe Burrow. You got the Jamar Chase, um, T. Higgins uh, from Clemson, another great player. Joe Mixon is looking really strong as a running back. Uh, what did you need? You had a horrendous gaping hole of an offensive line. I think the more picks they throw at this offensive line, the better. Because apparently now that we all have our eyes opened, the Bengals are in a win-now situation. They are a team that can make it to the Super Bowl, obviously. So. Why not build it that way? If you have a young quarterback and some young weapons on the rookie deal, just get as many guys around them to protect them and build on what your weakness was. Your defense, solid. Offensive playmaking, solid. Offensive line, not so solid. So I love this pick. Yep, and uh, so moving on to the second round, pick number 63, we've got Kyler Gordon, the corner out of Washington. Gordon's a very polarizing prospect. He's a great athlete, moves and runs very well. Not so great in coverage. He's had a few issues there. But one thing about Gordon that jumps off the field is he's got the attitude as a corner. He's a great tackler, downhill. You know, he loves to hit people. He's very, very physical. To me, I love him as a blitzer. I love him as an off-the-edge guy. I love him, you know, in certain nickel and dime sub packages. I think in late in the second round here, he's a good value guy because he's such a good athlete and can do so many things and add some flexibility to a defense. And when I look at the Bengals, they already have some good, uh, solid cover guys like Chidobi Awuzie. So they really just need more of an attitude guy inside to maybe pair some with Eli Apple a little bit since they're bringing him back. So I like, a, I like Gordon here. Yeah, the one thing that strikes me about Gordon is being as uh, great as like a, a run guy, a pass rush type guy, it'll pair nicely. Hubbard is a great pass rusher for the Bengals. So here we have another guy to pair up on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, you see a lot of times uh, when teams like maybe the Cleveland Browns or somebody like that, they have two great edge rushers, but you can kind of lock down those guys if you're being a little bit more careful. To have a great blitzing corner at the same time really puts that third dimension out there and makes your uh, defense a lot more dynamic. So this could be another polished piece of an already good defense. But uh, moving on here, what do we have? I, th I think we have a trend here, Nick. What's going on in the third round? So they go back to the University of Washington at round three, and they get Kate Otten, the tight end from Washington. So Kate Otten is a 6'3", 250-pound tight end, looks the part. He's not a great athlete. He's not flying off the page with his speed or his route running or anything like that. But every time I watch some film of him, he reminds me of Jason Witten. He always gets open. He always catches the ball. The Bengals lost C.J. Uzama in the offseason, so they need to replace um, him at tight end anyway. Otten's a veteran guy. He's got good leadership. They moved him in motion a lot at Washington, put him in a lot of situations. And guess what? He's going to go to Cincinnati and play right away and do a good job, and he has to do it. He's not going to be the number five or six weapon on that offense. Like you mentioned, they're already stacked. They just need a guy to come in and be serviceable, and you know, if he's open, catch the ball, and Otten's that guy. All right, Nick. This is a broad concept I'm going to try to paint here, okay? Let, just answer me this. Have you ever played, like, uh, FIFA on the Xbox? Yeah. So when you build your team on FIFA, there's these lines that connect the, pay, the players 
And if they're from like the same country or the same team, your team has better overall chemistry. What I have been saying for a while now, and the Bengals have shown it already with Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, the more chemistry that your team has, the more friendship that there is. If there's guys from the same uh, colleges that come to play together, the better off you are. So even if it's on different sides of the ball, I love the pickup of another Washington player. I think teams have should try to do this. Another team that does this a lot is the Las Vegas Raiders with all of the Clemson, Alabama guys. There's a lot of chemistry that gets built there. And we see they're looking to be possibly a solid team. They've made some moves and uh, they look like a, a potential playoff contender. I think if the Bengals follow this pattern uh, and they've really bit into this possible team chemistry thing, I love the connection of two Washington players together on the same team to help each other through the hard, more difficult transition into the NFL. Yeah, I agree. That's an outstanding point. Um, And and just to recap our our three picks here, we've got in the first round, the Bengals going offensive tackle out of Central Michigan, Bernard Ryman. In the second round, they get Kyler Gordon, a corner defensive back out of Washington. And in round three, like you alluded to, they go back to Washington and get tied in Tate Otten.